Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and this is an unusual vlog today, um, only because it's just, I'm just inspired by it. And I was just thinking how quiet the world is becoming. You know, we can live in this world and we can shut ourselves off. And a lot of times, sometimes the way we deal with conflict is to shut ourselves off. If we have problems, we shut ourselves off. And I've noticed that a lot of people, that's how they deal with things. They shut themselves off. They watch the TV, they see the murders, they see the killings, and they shut themselves off. It's as though they're, they're, they're um, actually extracting themselves from, from the world that they're living in. So, and I was thinking about even with our children, our children can just distance themselves. They can either be involved in on on the um, on the phones or on any type of social media, or locked away in their rooms. People who have arguments, they just shut themselves off. It's almost as though people just want to do what they want to do and have no consequences have no not be accountable to anything or accountable to anyone and just want the world to continue as they want it to in reality it doesn't work like that you cannot just live in a quiet world People will always be speaking up and speaking out. We can understand by the laws that are going on now about disinformation, misinformation, um, the things that people are talking about that are causing concern on social media and on things like YouTube. People are scared and worried when people speak out or talk about their concerns. It's almost like, I know um, back in the, um, I'll call it the olden days for want of a better word, <clears throat> when we, we was taught, um, well, children was first of all taught to, to <clears throat> sorry, where people were taught, uh, uh, where children were, were taught to be seen and not heard. We also had relationships where the woman was quiet. She didn't dare speak out because, you know, it just wasn't done. The woman just did what the man told her to do. And we have a society now where even if a man is challenged, he can shut down as well. So you have a world where people are not talking, they're not interacting because either they're afraid of the repercussions or they feel as though they just can't be bothered. A lot of times people are just not interested enough in other people to speak. They're not interested enough in people to talk, to get to know the root concerns of, of what's going on. So they just shut down and go quiet. It happens so many times. And sometimes we don't even know what's going on in their lives. You know, we can not respond. Maybe out of um, rebelliousness. Sometimes it's because we've had enough. Sometimes it's because we don't understand. But you can leave people in their silence. And you don't know if they've died or if they're going to jump off a cliff. You don't know what's going on. And you find a lot of children, when they walk off and they leave home and you don't know what's happened to them and you end up saying, oh, well, um, they'll come home or, you know, they don't like being spoken to. Nobody likes being spoken to. Why are people so arrogant that people can't speak to them anymore? And regardless of how you speak to them, People just don't like it. Everybody's got an attitude. People at work, I've noticed, if you dare criticise or you dare give them feedback, they have an attitude. It's as though everybody thinks they're perfect. And it's as though people have, and you know, if you don't agree with them or if you don't think they're perfect, they go into themselves or they attack or they lash out. And I'm sure maybe a lot of these knife, the knife crime is to do with people either speaking out or keeping silent.
When you keep silent, it bottles up. You've got no one to vent it to because you feel as though you're not sure whether or not your feelings are valid. By the time you've stewed over it and mulled over it, sometimes the repercussions are worse. So we're living in a world where people are going silent. You know, even I was looking at the YouTube the other day and there was consequences for people um, saying the wrong things on YouTube. They're, they're putting the onus now on the individual. So if you dare say something that could be misconstrued as being defamatory or um, they call it, what do they call it again? Oh, me and my memory. Anyway, there, there are consequences for speaking out. There's always consequences for speaking out. But sometimes it's better that you speak out than keep quiet. When you keep quiet, there is never a resolve. You'll never know. And what's worse is that things always remain the same. If people don't speak out, there will never be a change. And that's what happens. The, for those who don't change, everything remains the same. The outcome is the same. They don't grow. They don't move on. And some people, yes, they're embarrassed to speak out. Sometimes we all need somebody to talk to. And some people, they're embarrassed to speak to other people. Some people are afraid, to being, afraid of being judged. But as I was watching, I was watching the TV today and I was thinking, I had my thoughts. Am I allowed to air my thoughts? No, I have to exercise a certain amount of discipline. And as much as people would love me to air about this and they'd love me to air about this, I mean, I have people asking me to talk about subjects that are so controversial. I refuse to talk about subjects that are too controversial because I prefer to keep my channel alive. If I'm passionate about something myself, then I'll talk about it. But I'm not going to be the mouthpiece for people who are afraid to speak. That is not my job on YouTube. My job on YouTube is to educate people on areas that I have I have found information on and maybe it will help them and their families or their friends. That's why I talk on YouTube. I'm hoping to um, enlighten people about certain things. And also with the comments, I learn. So it's a two-way thing. And Think life has to be two ways. It cannot be one way. You have to be able to interact with other people. or other, you're, Otherwise, you're a social outcast. If you're unable to communicate effectively and it's not on your terms all the time, you're going to have problems. So I, I just think that people shouldn't be afraid to speak out, regardless of the consequences. Speak in a tempered and respectful manner about your concerns and yes I still talk about my concerns and I try to be as unbiased as possible without compromising my values and what I believe. So I just had that thought this morning I hadn't heard from a couple of members of my family and I was thinking to myself yes you know I can call them but I'm always the one that calls I'm always the one that breaks the silence and sometimes it's tiring because when you're always the one that breaks the silence, you, ha you have no way of knowing if the another person really cares or is really bothered. You have no way of knowing that unless you test the boundaries. And that's what happens. Sometimes we do do that. We, we test the boundaries. And sometimes when we leave people and we say, oh, well, I'm not going to bother, I'm not going to call, I'm not going to speak to that person because they're not speaking to me, sometimes you push the boundaries too far and then it reaches a point where there's no return. But also that we have, we have our self-respect, we have our dignity, we all want to do what's right. Sometimes we don't know what's right. If you're a godly person, you would always be self-sacrificing. If you're somebody who doesn't give a toss about anything or anyone but themselves, then you're, then you're fighting a losing battle. So it's very, very difficult. We live in a world where things are happening, bad things are happening. I heard a video the other day that was going around and I don't know what it was talking about, but 
they were talking about they have this um, language you know I don't know if it's street language but it almost seemed as though they were um, planning to do something and I thought to myself instead of these people passing around this stupid video why doesn't somebody send it off to the police you know the people who speak out seem to be so angry and hostile why can't people air their views with amount of with a level of emotional intelligence why is it that people when they do speak out they're so angry and defensive i don't understand so when i was listening to these vid these um audios they weren't videos they were audios and i was listening to them i was thinking these people are probably pent up so much that when they do type finally speak out they you know they, 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 it comes like they're attacking someone so you know it is important to speak your truth and speak it at a time when it happens don't allow it to fester don't allow it to mull over try to share your your views and your feelings regardless of how vulnerable you may feel try to share them because there's so many people who go out there um they i remember that poor guy in love island he killed himself he had no one to talk to and it wasn't that he didn't have anyone to talk to he was talking to his grandmother mike um muggy mike he was talking to his grandmother but i guess when you speak to the same person all the time you feel as though you're offloading and overloading and then when that person is saying oh don't worry about it you know it's okay just ignore it and they're not actually acknowledging your pain and they can't they don't understand where you're really coming from you're not going to want to talk to that person anymore because you need people who understand what you're going through they understand your feelings and if you're talking to somebody and they either minimize what you're saying or they they don't take it on then you're going to you're not going to want to talk to that person and that per and muggy mike ended up hanging himself of all the things to do going out into a garden hanging himself a beautiful looking young man did that because he didn't talk because he went silent and you know the people he worked with you know other colleagues and celebrities that one woman said you know he tried to call me and i didn't even bother calling back and that's what happens to people you call they don't bother to call you back they think it's okay to call them back in their time and sometimes their time is too late so all i'm saying is that yes we are becoming a silent nation for more reasons than one sometimes sometimes we just feel defeated we're fed up we cannot be bothered and all we want is peace of mind for me I just want peace of mind. I don't want any kind of antagonism. I just want to live a comfortable life that's free from, um, you know, we all have our upsets and we all have things that go wrong and life isn't perfect. But for by and large, when you're um, interacting with the world, you just, you can try and make it as comfortable as possible and as peaceable as peaceful as possible because certain things are within our remit we do have control over certain things we don't have control over everything but what we do have control is ourselves, how we react to people how we interact with people and so i just put this out there it's just ad hoc and yeah that's all for now your comments would be appreciated bye bye